What's up, Ray Peck? This is Landon Wicket, and you're watching our new show, On the Prowl. There's nothing in this. It's been a long time. Let's welcome back Hallway Talk with the James Belts. This is James Belts, and I'm going to do Hallway Talk, where we go to talk to people in the hallways. All right, so you're stuck on an island. What are the three things that you bring with you to survive? Well, the first thing I'd most likely bring is a Bible, but I'd use that book to burn for fire, so I wouldn't burn the Bible. So I'd pick an even bigger book than the Bible. What book would you bring? Oh, gosh. Something bigger than the Bible. <laughs> oh, my uh, chemistry book. Oh no, my calculus book. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Just because yeah. you hate calculus? It's not my passion, but I wouldn't say I hate it. It's very difficult. All right, Alex, if you had, if you're stuck on an island and you could only bring three things, what would you bring? Um, I would bring a cell phone. Okay, what if there's no reception? <laughs> uh, radio. I would hijack the radio system. How would you do that? I would bring a person who could do it with me. So that's your second thing, is another person? Yes. And who would that person be? You have to name him. You can't just say a random person. Colby Stosberg. And he can do that? He can do anything. Okay, interesting. All right, Ann, you're stuck on an island, and you only get three things to bring to survive. What are they? Um, my dog. Why your dog? Because he um, is very important to me and helps with a lot of things. Okay, if it came to it, would you ever eat your dog? No! But that's your only food. No, because my next thing that I would bring is macaroni. You know your dog's going to need food, right? You can eat some macaroni with me. Okay, but then you're going to run out of macaroni quicker. Anyway, what's your third thing? Water. Why water? You're on an island. You filter the water. Just because you want water. I don't have to figure out how to filter water. So that would be kind of a hard thing. <laughs> So, you're not going to eat your dog, is what I'm hearing. I might eat my dog. So, you'd rather dog. starve to death than eat your dog. He probably would attack me. He doesn't like people. So, he would be eating you before you ate him. Probably. So, we're here with Miss Chickaroo, all right? So, Miss Chickaroo, if you were stuck on an island, what three things would you bring? I'd probably bring a rope, um, a knife, and something I can catch fish with. Okay, and why those things? Um, I'd like to survive on the island. You're the first person that's gone, like, survival mode on this. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Um, I don't know. I feel you like think I'm... you're just, like, the smartest one? No, I think I'm just really competitive. Makes sense. You just want to win, want to survive. Yeah. All right, so we're, you're stuck on an island. You get three things to bring. What do you bring? A boat, a flare, and water. Uh, a boat, um, some sort of weapon, and food. I don't want water and a dog. Okay, why would you bring those things? I mean, a good reason to want to get uh, So I can survive and try and find someone to take me home. All right. So I can get off the island. So I can stay alive and have a dog. I guess that makes sense. Would you ever eat your dog? This has been a common thing. Yes. Yes. If you would eat your dog if yes. it came to Hands down. Any Hands down, yes. So you wouldn't let the dog eat you? No. no. Okay. Hands down. Dog. So you're stuck on an island. you got to bring three things. What are they? Um, I'm going to bring probably a canister of water, a filter for my water, and a flight. So why, why a filter for your water? Because depending on what island it is, I want to be able to filter the water so that way I can like drink it safely. So if you, oh you, okay. <clears throat> and what was the third thing you said? A flint. Why, why a flint? So that way you can start a fire. I guess that kind of makes sense. So you're going survival on so you want to survive. Yeah, I'm not trying to die. Makes sense. Thanks, James. If 
How I stuck on an island, obviously I'm bringing James Belts. Let's go on to the crazy weather with Gary Lezak has for us. Good morning, my name is Gary Lezak. The tropical rainwater peculiar area is really getting a curveball this week. Today is a gloomy, cold day and peculiar through the morning. Temperatures will be brisk at 15 degrees, heating all the way up to 45 in the afternoon. This should completely melt the 13 feet of snow that we got yesterday. Rainwater folks will be sweating their hair off at about 95 degrees through the morning and rising temperatures reaching 130 in the afternoon. We have rather alarming news coming in. Hurricanes will be smashing the peculiar coast any minute. Good luck, fellow citizens. Thanks, Gary. Hopefully the weather doesn't bring the house down with this episode. Hey, Panther, how are you liking the episode so far? Well, I guess you liked it. Now on to a segment with Hannah York, What's in Your Bag. Hello, welcome to What's in Your Bag. Okay, what's in your bag? We have moisturizer and we have foundation. Well, I have a butterfly shaped poppet. Yeah. <laughs> so I totally forgot I put this in here. But I, I put a hammer, just in case I need a hammer, um, so I can hammer things. Also, it's good for hammering. That's about it. I have this thing, let me find it. I went to Ireland over the summer. CDs and books. Wow, what's that, Micah? It's essential oils. The chemistry in it allows the soothing. You put it on your throat, and it makes your throat stop hurting. <laughs> That's no. his acid. He drops it regularly. It's fun. It's just oil. See? Smell. The camera doesn't smell. You know what that smells like? That smells like Andy. That smells like an Andy's mint. It does. You're right. <laughs> um, so what's in my backpack? I have sexy cologne. Can you see that on the camera? Very yeah, nice, very kept sexy. In, so they had to keep... Here we go. Press and seals. Take the press and seal challenge. Watch ourselves. Cinematic mode. Oh. I'm so proud What's of it. You oh. get kid fish fishing Saturday, June 7th, and that's in like 2003. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm James Bond. Okay, ready? Three, two, Onto the famous and legendary student shout outs with She Talks to the Angels by the Black Crows, senior Keeler Heath with Rock You America. Well, Panther, you got anything to say to our audience? Wait, time out. Why do you even have this? Well, that's our show. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of On the Prowl. Deuces. It's our first segment. Ever. It is. It's exciting. Very exciting. I feel like this doesn't work. Oh, wait, it doesn't. It did not. <laughs> it's okay. Is this something good to do? My name is James Watson, this sounds like a duck in heat.
you have the brain. Now what the heck, bro? I do not want to be in. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, are you good? Yeah.